Hey Gemini and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for tuning in. This is going to be a general reading for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for October 1st through the 15th. This is not going to resonate with every Gemini out there, so take the parts that do resonate with you and apply it to your life, whether that be in love, career, finances, spiritual, or personal aspects of your life, okay? Thank you all in advance for your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. Don't, don't forget to hit the notification bell before you leave so you can be updated on my new videos, okay? In tapping into some of your energy, Gemini, I am feeling that some of you are holding on to something so tight that you do not want to let go of it and you just keep taking it with you wherever you go. I don't know if this is something physical or this is some sort of mentality, some emotion, but I feel like wherever you go, it follows you, okay? And it's like, I can see you going, you're holding on to this thing. I'm going to take my little selenite that I have here. You're holding on to this thing and it like, literally, you're like, I ain't letting it go. Nope, I ain't letting it go. Okay, so whatever this is, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's serving you or not, but it's almost like it's a binky in some sort of way. <laughs> like, I don't know what this is, okay? So let's hop into that, okay? I'm going to shuffle these a couple times. Again, you can take the genders and the scenarios and interchange them, okay? Know that time is fluid, and this is a timeless video. So whenever you're seeing it, it's when you're meant to see it. This is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone out there, okay? If you're looking for a personal reading, please check the description box below and shoot me an email. I love to help you out with your situation, okay? At the bottom of the deck, I have the Ten of Fire. So some of you could definitely be starting something new, a new, you know, um, there could be this new venture or something with this number one, okay? Venture, new relationship, whatever that may be. That relationship could be with yourself or it could be with someone, someone else. But I feel like there's an energy of you letting go of a lot of things, okay? Maybe you've been burdened and bogged down by a lot of things and it's time for you to let it go. Literally, I'm looking at this and I'm like, Oh, she's like, it looks like she's taking letters. So she's written letters to those that she needs to forgive. And hopefully there's a letter to yourself in there, Gemini, needing to forgive yourself, okay, moving forward. But it's like you're burning it, you're letting it go. So whatever this thing is that you're holding on to, it almost feels like there's an energy of you need to let it go, okay? The tower card here, definitely, it's time to let this go. It's time for you to walk away from this, okay? Maybe this is called some caused some some chaos okay and i'm looking at this fire okay so this is probably something that's very intense and fiery a lot of passion and drive behind it but maybe it's not in your favor okay then we have the eight of water some of you are definitely leaving something behind okay definitely we have um we have fire and water on the board here but something can uh, fire sign a water sign on the board some of you are definitely leaving something behind and then there's the call card. So there's a judgment. There's a decision that needs to be made, okay? Because so some things have probably resurrected and um, resurrecting from the past, and you need to let go of this, okay? So whatever this thing that you're holding on to, Gemini, it's time for you to let it go, okay? It's time for you to step up and say, you know what? This just isn't serving me anymore. It's time for me to let this go. Now, that's your overall energy. Let's tap into the energy for... October 1st through the 15th, okay? All right. What is the energy for Gemini? We have the Knight of Wands, the Seven of Wands, and the Four of Wands. Wow, that's a lot of fiery energy. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries, uh, Pisces. Maybe some of you are dealing with a Pisces, Gemini. Um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius energy. In the center of this is this seven of wands where i feel like this is the card of like battling okay you're challenging maybe some of you are being challenged by something okay but i feel like there's an energy of you being competitive but i feel like you can also persevere okay so for some of you that have been holding on to this it has been such a comfort zone for you maybe you're feeling like if you let it go if you let it go things are not going to be the same but i feel like you're going to persevere through whatever it is that you have yet to figure out or yet to let into your space because you've been holding on to this, okay? So I feel like there's a fear and there's a comfort zone with holding on to this. And it's like you stepping into the unknown, you know, it scares the hell out of you, okay? 
Then we have the Knight of Wands. Okay, so maybe some, you know, there could be a message coming in or someone coming towards you or someone leaving, someone walking away from you as I'm looking at this. I'm looking at the the night the night of wands how it's moving away from this or maybe some of you are moving away from this competition you're moving away from this challenge what has been challenging you i feel like you could be leaving that behind walking away from it it's not serving you anymore for some of you this could be a marriage gemini with the four of wands here the four of wands is usually a coming together a celebration marriage a happy home um you you know starting a new chapter in your life okay so I feel like there's this energy of you leaving behind whatever this is that you're holding on to so that you can walk into something that's more fulfilling, something that's happy for you. Okay, let's clarify. I definitely want to clarify this four of wands. Maybe some of you might be in a relationship. Why is the four of wands here? cards but I will take them okay so with this four of wands I pulled the eight of cups the five of cups the tower again is coming out the king of coins and the seven of cups so some of you could probably definitely be dealing with a Pisces Cancer or Scorpio energy as well as a fire sign Aries Leo or Sagittarius okay so some of you could be experiencing some conflict within a marriage okay within a relationship with this Eight of Cups here, I feel like there is a possibility to some of you are walking away or have already walked away. Um, I feel like it was something that you just couldn't bear to stand anymore or bear to be in, okay? Because maybe there was just a lot of transgressions or something happening within the relationship and you just kind of like you are you were over it, okay? I feel like this person is like trying to apologize for something that they've done to you, but I feel like you're over it at this point. Okay, with that five of cups right there and then also the tower card, you're definitely moving out. Okay, definitely moving elsewhere um, for some of you. Um, and then this king of coins comes in. I feel like <laughs> this could be an option that you have. This could be a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn energy that comes in and offers you some options. But I don't, I'm picking up the energy of you could possibly be seeing this person more than what they're really offering you. So meaning that you could have feelings for this person because you feel like maybe they're giving you a vibe that they actually like you and they want to pursue something with you. But I think you might be a little elusive in that, being that maybe they're just very nice and kind giving people, okay, they're giving you a lot of information, okay, this could be someone older than you, someone that's very wise, someone that has it together, again, an earth sign. And they could be, you know, offering this and you're kind of like in this space of like, well, why are they offering me this? They must like me. They're not just going to give me this if they have no attraction to me. I think they're just a nice, genuine person, but I do feel like they're not offering you this because they want to be with you. Okay. And that way it, it could, you know, it can go both ways. Okay. This could also be you offering someone this, this earth sign something. Okay. But I feel like there is options. You might have choices when it comes to um, maybe this person's offering you options and choices, okay? And you have to decide what it is that you want, okay, moving forward, okay? So again, Gemini, your overall energy is that you're moving away from something, okay? You're, you know, you're letting go of something. And this could be a person for some of you. This can be a mentality. You're moving away from that you know, going in the opposite direction. And some of you are wanting to move in the direction of creating something, you know, creating a foundation of happiness of something that's home. And maybe for some of you, you're thinking about purchasing a home, you know, something, you're wanting something that's yours. Because whatever this is, like, maybe what you've been holding on to is something that you've created too. It's not something that is actually there. Okay. When I say that, like, it could be a, like an elusive behavior that could be playing out like you you're actually creating stuff through your thoughts and thinks that, and you think that these things are happening when really you've only created that and it really isn't like <laughs> that kind of energy there so i feel like some of you are just wanting to move away from that and move into something more 
suitable for this part of the journey of your life. Okay, so I do feel like there are some opportunities and some options there. Just make sure that you're not um, taking someone's kindness for the taking someone's kindness for weak for their weakness, or um, making sure that you're not leading on this person um, because I don't think this person is seeing things the way that you are seeing things, okay? They could be seeing more and you could be seeing less or you could be seeing more and they could be seeing less, however that works for you, okay? But I feel like there's an energy of maybe you're not on the same page. And there's also this energy of, you know, you're walking away from something, so you need to make sure that you heal from that as well, okay? Heal, you're healing from whatever it is that you're letting go of because whatever this is that you've been holding on to has been around for a long time. This could be, you know, a thought, an emotion, or a person. So whatever this is has been there for a long time and it's been a huge part of your life. And now it's like walking away from that. You need some time to heal, okay? So that is your overall energy that I am picking up for you during this month. Letting it go, walking away, walking into something new, and not being in a place of, you know, delusion, okay? Let's get some advice for you, Taurus. What advice do we have for Taurus? Oh, I'm sorry, Taurus. I'm sorry. I just did Taurus. Gemini. <laughs> what advice do we have for Gemini? The Justice card, the King of Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so in the center of this is the King of Cups energy. Okay, some of you could be dealing with a Cancer energy, or this could be in your chart, or this could be an energy that you're embodying of, you know, emotional stability. Now that you have walked away from whatever it is, you have let go of whatever this is, you finally step into some emotional stability. You're, you know, a very, you know, very, very cool, chill, caring, loving person, but very diplomatic at the, in, in the same note. Okay. And then we also pulled the justice card. So I have the justice and the king. Okay. The justice is connected to a Libra energy. This could possibly be your energy of wanting some truth, some clarity, some fairness. You're trying to find balance in your life. Okay. The knight of pentacles connected to an earth sign, Virgo Taurus and Virgo Taurus or Capricorn energy. I feel like, you know, someone could be possibly coming in with some sort of offer and may, may not happen as fast as you would like it to, but there is an opportunity there for you to receive something, okay? Something tangible, something that you could taste, touch, feel, see in your physical world, okay? So let's clarify. I want to clarify this King of Cups and this Knight of Pentacles. Why is the King of Cups here? The moon card, the six of swords, could definitely be your energy and all these cards just want to fly out. Why is this king of cups here? Let's do one more card. And I knew that was going to come back out, that lover's card. That is your energy, Gemini, the lovers, okay? The lover's card is you, okay? I do have uh, Six of Swords, the Moon, and the Lovers. So two major arcanas clarifying this King of Cups. Again, some of you can be dealing with the Cancer, possibly a Pisces as well. I did say that at the, at the beginning, but I do feel like some of you are leaving something behind, okay? And again, this might come in the form of a thought for some of you, or this is this person. But so for some of you that have yet to do this, to make this move, okay, the advice is to leave this behind, okay? Because someone has you in the dark about something. Someone might have secrets about something. Or you might have secrets that you have not allowed to come to the light yet. And I feel like there's an energy of you running away from something. And I feel like you're not fully showing your truth, okay? But I feel like you're trying to, like, deal with that and come into alignment with this lover's card here, which is your energy, which I want to clarify some more. Why is this lover's card here? Some of you are definitely battling. You're feeling some tension, um, some strife. You're dealing with some sort of, I feel like it's like an inner conflict that some of you are dealing with. You could be dealing with it with this person that you're dealing with, this Cancer, this Pisces, Cancer or Pisces. Um, again, we also have fire on the chart as well. Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn energy as well. 
Okay, why is this lover's card here? One more card. Okay, there we go. Oh, I wanted to come back out, the Ten of Swords. Okay, so some of you, with, in clarifying this lover's card, I feel like somebody could be coming in with an offer or maybe turning their back to you in some sort of way because I feel like this is... I feel like I feel like you you're in this phase of like this again inner conflict or you're in a conflict or there's tension between you and someone else okay maybe you this cancer this Pisces or this you know um, fire sign possibly earth sign as well so you could be in conflict with anybody I feel like there's a disagreement that you may have had um, with something which is making you just kind of walk away from someone okay but I feel like this person again this knight of coins could be um, in the center of this could be an earth sign coming in to try to offer you something but I feel like you're it's almost like you're not accepting it first off when you look at this you can't accept it because you have swords in your back because you feel you feel backstabbed you feel betrayed you feel like you can't do anything right now you're hurting whatever this is Gemini you're hurting about something but somebody's trying to offer you something but I feel like you're, you know, you are not accepting it just because, you know, it's like this person can't physically accept it. But I feel like you just don't want to accept it. Maybe somebody's trying to call you back into their space and you're just like, I'm over it. I'm over you. I'm not doing this with you anymore. Why is this Knight of Pentacles here? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Seven of Coins, King of Staffs, and the Strength card. Okay, with this Knight of Pentacles, whoever this is is coming in and offering you. I feel like it's a heavy load. You know, I don't know. I feel like they're carrying a lot. Maybe they're carrying a lot of secrets for you. I don't know. <laughs> but I feel like somebody's watching. Look how, look how this king of staffs in the center is watching the seven of coins. It's like watching this person. I feel like nobody's like, this person's not helping you, okay? This person's, or this person's trying to find the strength to help you. They just don't know what to do to help you to get you out of this situation. Some of you might be in a situation that, you know, a financial situation that, you know, no one can get you out of right now, but you people, I mean, it's like this person doesn't know how to help you. So you have to find the strength and the confidence and the courage to be able to, I don't know, I'm feeling with this strength card, go out and hustle, you know, find a hustle or something, because it's like this energy of being in some sort of situation that no one else can get you, get you out of, but you. Okay. So it's like finding some, it's like finding, it's like fine tuning you know, this self-conflict that some of you are experiencing. Some of you are just in your thoughts about things. And I feel like you're needing to find, with this lover's card, you're needing to find a balance and you're needing to understand your work. You needed to know your values, what's important to you, what isn't important to you. I feel like some of you are needing to prioritize, okay? Maybe you haven't been doing a good job of prioritizing things. And, um, you know, this month is you got to get your shit together, Okay. Because some, again, for some of you that might be walking away from something, you might have to prioritize now because maybe you did have someone there helping you and this person's no longer there for you um, or no longer there with you. And now you might be doing things on your own. So you have to be more st strategic in how you spend your money and the things that you do because it's all on you, boo. It's all on you. Okay. So that's the advice. That's the advice portion. Let's move into the outcome for you, Gemini. What advice do you have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for October 1st through the 15th? We have the Six of Cups in reverse, the Eight of Swords, and then we have the Page of Cups. So in the center of this is the Eight of Swords, which is your energy. Some of you are just feeling like your hands are tied behind your back. It's like you, you feel blinded. You feel like you can't go anywhere. Some of you are just feeling stuck. You might be feeling stuck in your thoughts. You might be feeling stuck in a situation. You might be feeling stuck in a home, in a relationship, something, okay? Um, but I feel like with this, um, I feel like with this Six of Cups in reverse, um, some of you could just be living in the past and you need to, it's time to forgive again. It's time to forgive. Forgive yourself, forgive this person because I feel like you living in the past 
you know, is holding you in this in this state of feeling imprisoned, okay? And it's like you're not going to be able to move forward until you come out of this state. But it does feel like somebody can be coming in with an offer, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, okay? And then this six of Six of Cups in Reverse is also connected to Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. So you could have a water sign coming in to maybe assist you with something, but I feel like there's an energy of like you definitely need to, you know, let go of things because you've been living in the past about things. And again, this living in the past is holding on to whatever this is that you've been taking with you, either lifetime after lifetime, or you've been holding it with you since childhood. It's time to let that go. Okay. So let's clarify these. Okay, why is the six of cups, six of cups in reverse here? Why is the six of cups in reverse? The four of coins. Some of you are definitely holding on to something. Six of cups is coming out again. Three of coins. Okay, so double confirmation. And so that means that spirit is really needing you to hear this. So some of you, I feel like with the six of cups in reverse. And then the six of cups upright, I feel like there's an energy of you keep going back and forth of being, you know, you're, it's almost like you, again, that energy of being elusive. If you know, you're, you're living, you're living, in, living in the past, but you're in the present moment. Okay. So it's like, it's, you're going back and forth. Maybe some of you are having memories about childhood issues that you're needing to let go of. That's keeping you a bit stuck in this space of feeling in prison, right? And then we have this three of coins. There could be an opportunity of someone coming in to help you with an offer, okay? Maybe some of you guys need to seek out therapy too to help you through this situation as well, okay? Let's see if anything, if there's anything else Spirit wants to say about that, okay? Then we pull the four of cups. Some of you definitely are needing to, again, I feel like with the four of coins and the four of cups here, there's this energy of you trying to find some sort of stability in things, Okay? But I do feel like there could be a new beginning if you seek the help that you need to overcome whatever it is that you have been holding on to and you need to let that go because it's not benefiting you at all, Gemini. You definitely need to probably meditate on it, reflect on it, and let this go. And then I feel like there is the opportunity when you do step up to the plate and do this, the will of fortune steps in and it's like it's a faded energy where things will start to change. You'll start to see the shifts happening within your life. Once you get some help with for, you know, get some help with whatever this is that you've been holding on to. OK. All right. So let's see this page of cups. Why is the page of cups here? Ooh, two of swords, the hierophant. Some of you are definitely having to make some decisions about this. And I feel like some of you are scared to make a decision about it because you just you're afraid of the unknown of what's going to happen. But it, the, look at that, the lover's card coming back out again for you. So I feel like some of you are needing to create some order, some structure. I feel like you have a knowing of something. And maybe this this could be a new idea coming in for you, like a, some sort of a burst of creative energy coming in for you. For some of you, um, we have, let me see, we have the four of cups. Um, this could also be, this could also be some sort of intuitive message for you as well. And again, I feel like this could come through with some of this energy of you going into meditation. Okay. That could be, that's, you know, this is your outcome of, you know, you helping yourself through, through this healing process that some of you need to go through. I feel like there is a coming together. I do feel like you're tired of battling, battling yourself, Gemini. I really do. You're trying to find some order and some structure. You're not sure where to go, how to start, who to call, but maybe starting with, you know, seeking out some therapy so that you can begin to with this two of swords, you know, uncover your eyes and see the things that are right in front of you that you've created again, because you've been in this elusive state of, you know, teetering back and forth from the past to the present. So sometimes you're not fully in the present moment because you're thinking about too much, too many things that happened in the past because you won't let go of something. Okay. And it's almost like you keep comparing this something to everything else that's unfolding in your life. Okay. So I feel like when you go with this hierophant here is seeking some sort of counsel, some sort of higher power. I feel like some sort of professional help can get you to this place of alignment, okay? 
definitely that's your energy this this has come out for the second time so i feel like there is this opportunity for you to feel complete and whole and align with who you are and where you've you know where you've come from and still be okay with what has happened in the past but not taking that forward with you okay so let me pull a couple of let's see let me do do we want to clarify anything else I do want to pull some oracle cards for you, okay? Because I do feel like some of you are experiencing some sort of like awakening process where you just, you know, you're trying to heal and let things go. And some of you may be just feeling stuck. But I just want to remind you that you're a beautiful being. You're a beautiful soul. And, you know, everyone has everyone has their struggles. And, you know, you're not excluded. So um, this is just, you know, some energy that can move you forward for the remainder of the month. What does Gemini need to hear in moving forward during their healing process and letting go of whatever it is that they've been holding on to from childhood or past past lives, whether that's, you know, money worries or worries when it comes to love? And I'm going to choose one more card. Okay, so you're a warrior, warrior woman, okay? Have you answered your deepest calling? And I'm going to say no, you haven't, but I feel like you're on your way to that, okay? With this lover's card coming in, it's about self-love, loving yourself, aligning yourself with your truth. And I feel like that's that energy for you if you're a warrior, warrior okay? And whatever this is that you've been holding on to you is, isn't serving you anymore. It's kind of done and over with, but you keep, again, like I said, it's like a binky. You're holding on to it because it's your comfort zone, okay? And that's totally fine. No one is judging you for that, but you're a warrior. So it is like you've come into this life. You're going to have battles, but you're strong. You can get through this. You will get through this. You have to ask for the help that you need, Okay. Not just, you know, not just help with, you know, tangible things, you know, money and love and all this. You need this self-love, this alignment. You need inner work that, you know, to to help you um, move forward on this path. And when you do, I just feel like there's a lot of beauty surrounding you, you know, and it's like, I just feel like with this sword, it's time for you. This sword is also connected to your energy of like, you, it's time for you to start cutting through things. It just doesn't serve you anymore. Okay. And you're a pillar of light. Your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. Look how beautiful that is, okay? And again, I feel like there's, look how the beam is going down the middle. And then you have the lover's card with the, with the staff going down the middle, okay? So I, again, it's coming back to your alignment, okay? And then protection card comes out. Call back your power. Cut the cords. Soul retrieval. This is about you doing that healing work releasing what no longer serves you anymore, okay? You are protected as you do that, so you need to understand that. And look how look how at the beginning, I mean at the top of each card there's light, there's a moon, okay? I feel like that is your energy and I feel like you're rising to the top when you can let all of this stuff go. You're rising up to the top so that, you know, you can really express yourself in a beautiful, vibrant way, okay? But there's so much beautiful, beautiful energy that's around you, Gemini. It's just a matter of you um, releasing this thing that you're holding on to, okay, and getting the help that you need, okay? So, you know, maybe this month is about looking up some therapists, you know, so that you can, you know, find someone that you can talk to, you know, sometimes not, you know, talking to a friend is not enough because, you know, they're in your immediate circle, but maybe speaking to someone outside of this will give you a different perspective. And it may be the same things you heard before, but it may be delivered in a different perspective that makes you go, aha, okay? So maybe that could be, you know, your advice and the outcome is like, you know, looking, researching therapists, researching someone you can talk to, a support group or something, and then actually doing it, okay? So that you can start this healing process, okay? All right, Gemini, if this video resonated with you, please give it a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Make sure you share it with your friends. Make sure you comment. I'd love to hear, um, hear, love to hear your comments. Um, if you, well, when you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell. If you'd like to continue donating to my channel, thank you so much. The information's in the description box below. If you'd like to schedule a tarot reading or a uh, energy healing, please shoot me an email. I would love to hear from you. 
I will be in touch with you um, for your mid-month reading. So enjoy the rest of this month and I will chat with you soon. Many blessings to you and yours in love and light and I'll see you guys later. Bye, Gemini.